work at Light Matter because I like startups in general. At a startup, you're, you're inventing something that doesn't exist. Power consumption for high performance computing is just going sky high. They're predicting a compound annual growth rate of somewhere around 8.5%. AI workloads will account for about 80% of that power. Light Matter's approach is to use silicon photonics to be able to increase that performance, but use much less power to do it. It's totally unique than anything that exists today. It has uh, lasers that need to have light shining in the chip. We need to have fibers that connect to our chip, to the lasers themselves. We actually have to not just build the chip, but we also have to build the boards that the chip goes onto. We are working on something that has not ever done before. So imagine that you're working at Apple uh, before the uh, iPhone. What we're doing at Light Matter is we're designing that GPU server. And so it starts with designing the PCIe card where we will basically be able to take our chip, install it on that PCIe card, put a bunch of those into a server and be able to install that in a data center. This is my third startup and I know that eventually you get to the point where you have so many products and you're working with a contract manufacturer to build three or four or five different things. And you can't just exchange data over spreadsheets. You make mistakes, you send them the wrong version of a spreadsheet, they go off and they build something that has a wrong value component and next thing you know you've got five prototypes that you have to rework by hand to fix a problem because they don't have access to the latest and greatest data. So we're using Altium Enterprise. It's pretty much an all-in-one tool, right? You get schematic capture. You've got a PCB editor. You've got simulation. You've got MCAD co-design. And for a startup with limited funds, I like the fact that all of this stuff is included in Altium Enterprise to have at my disposal. Altium 365 streamlines the process because it's cloud-based and um, it's under version control. So I do a design in a local uh, copy of the project, and then I can, I can share the design with them. I can add them to the workspace. They can work on it without having to go through these share drives and without having to you know, type up a million notes every night about match this length or you need to move this component or whatever. So it, it allows for a much more efficient back and forth. So there's less manual work for the engineer to do. Should be 1K. This is directly in the schematic. It points exactly to where I have a question and he can resolve it in his own version of the tool. If uh, somebody in our organization does not have a license, as long as they have a browser, um, they can access the design. It was important that there was a integration, a connection between the schematic design tool and the PLM tools. Those are important things for us to be able to meet our schedules and not have to iterate 10 times to get things to work. Anytime you can automate, it relieves the, re, you know, the repetitive tasks and the manual operations that are both time consuming and prone to making errors. You make one typo and it could cost you thousands of dollars if you go off and get a board built with the wrong components. We will do whatever we can to streamline the process, eliminate any, any kind of hurdles, anything that's blocking, clear it out and make sure that we deliver what we say we're going to deliver when we say we're going to deliver it.